I've moved the camera to the other side of my windowsill today so we can get a different background. I kind of feel like the lighting's better from this angle, but I feel like the be background is better from the other angle, like when you have all my pops in the background. I don't know, which angle do you prefer? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, that's your friendly neighbor dad, Tori here. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I ordered from Shein, Shein, Sh something. I have no idea how you pronounce that, everyone pronounces it differently. I have never ordered from there before, but like everyone I know has, and everyone raves about it. I'm always seeing the adverts on Facebook. And I know how like, you know, the little internet spies, how they tailor every advert you see on the internet to your personal likings. Every advert on Facebook I was seeing from this company, it was literally like up my alley, like my fashion to the T. Like, like, as you guys know, I'm a really pastel girly girl. Everything they were showing me was that. So I was like, you got me sold. So I downloaded the app, had a scroll through, ordered some stuff. Um, I actually ended up doing two different orders and it came in three different packagings. One arrived last week and the other two arrived today. All right, so today we're going to be doing a try on haul. So first I'll just go through everything I've got and then I will show you what it's like on and whether it fits or not, because that's the bit that I found quite hard ordering on Shein, Shein, just something. Sizing was really hard to work out. Um, so the way I started to work around it was just to take my bust measurements and my hip measurements and all of that because their small, medium, large does not add up to any other shops. So I literally just went off with my measurements, which then for a lot, this um, for my swimsuit, I had to go into the plus section because for my size, <laughs> that I was not gonna get that in the regular section. So I did have to go to the plus size for that. But I found in the plus size section for swimsuits, there was so much more to choose from. So many more options, so I was not complaining there. I was happy with that. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I think first I will just show you what the item that came last week, which came without everything else. I don't know why it arrived separately, I don't know. But this was the item I needed to arrive early. Um, it's a swimsuit, because I'm going on the Disney Staycation Cruise, literally, as I'm filming this, 17 days today. By the time you're watching this, I think I'll have already been on it. Or I'm currently on it. I don't know when this video is going up. But the kind of holidays I usually go on are usually like traveling kind of holidays. I don't usually go for beach like standard holidays. So I haven't owned a swimsuit probably since I did swimming in school. <laughs> um, so I was like going on a cruise I need something. So this is what I got. So from, when you're wearing it from the front it looks like a bikini. But at the back it's one whole piece because I I'm not very body confident, I'm very uh, about my body, but I thought this was really cute. And so it gives me the best of both worlds of a bikini and a swimsuit. So you know, the cute, cutie, hottie appeal of a bikini, but with the comfort and safety of a swimsuit. And also the bottom part, this, is very high waist, it comes up to above my belly button. So it will hide my stomach perfectly, which is exactly what I want. Yeah, mermaid style, cute. Um, and this is a tie up front, which at first I was kind of like, this is you literally just tie it up. Which at first when I got it, I was kind of skeptical about because that's all I if it comes undone. But I have knotted, I tried it on and knotted that in the tightest knot that I can, I physically can. So that is not coming undone. But other than that, absolutely love it. Absolutely happy with it. Overall, happy with that. And this will be the only part of the try on haul that I don't try on because the internet doesn't need to see that. Okay, next I thought we could move on to jewellery because I did order quite a bit of jewellery. And then this is also another thing I don't need to try on. So, first let's start off with anklets. So this is the first anklet I ordered. And it is this double chained one. So it's got one chain which is just a plain chain. And then the other one has got these little cute leaves on it. I absolutely love anklets and I thought that was adorable and perfect for the summer. And this was the second anklet, or it's, I don't know if that's going to focus, it's just got a bow and it has got two chains and then the bow obviously meets it up in the middle. Okay, so that was all, that was both of the anklets I ordered. Now uh, moving on to chokers because if you know me, you know I like my chokers. This one I'm absolutely obsessed with, it is literally just a daisy chain. How cute is that? And I can't remember how much any of this was, but literally all of their jewellery was like 
really good price. Then the next one, if you know me at all, you'll know I love my like pearl accessories. I have so many pearl headbands, so many pearl earrings. Um, and I have a couple of pearl chokers as well. And when I saw this set, I was like, oh. you get this pearl choker. It looks like a pearl necklace, but it is a pearl, it's a choker. And then matching with it, you get this little necklace with just a little pearl on the bottom. So then, you know, layer them up. Beautiful, stunning. I, this was one of the things I saw on one of the adverts on Facebook and I was like, I need this in my life. I need this. I'm not usually a huge fan of layering like necklaces and stuff like that, but when it's a matching choker and necklace duo, I can't go wrong with this. I'm, I'm in love with this. This is... <laughs> So that was both of the chokers I ordered. Next onto earrings. Now I'm just gonna have to check the app for these ones because through the packaging, it looks like what I it is on the app, but it doesn't look like it's exact twin. So I'll just show it to you first and then I'll bring it up on the app and we can judge whether it is the same. So it's just these little pearl earrings and it has a little drop down bow underneath it. So I'm just gonna check on the app because I don't, it looks kind of different. Let me now just loading it up and we can go into my orders and see. I mean, they're cute anyway. I love them, but I'm just not sure that that's exactly what the picture looks like. So in this one, it kind of looked a bit more like a rose goldy bow. But to be fair, when you do swipe across, it is silver. So for some reason, I'd got that mixed up in my mem in my mind. I thought it was going to be a rose gold. Um, but this is fine. I absolutely love this. <laughs> I just got it wrong in my mind but and of course pearls again okay one more earrings after this now with these I'm kind of getting ahead of myself so this is an earring set um because as I'm filming this next this time next week I'm going to get more piercings I'm going to get my second lobes and my helix so you guys probably know I like to have my wacky earrings and stuff like that I quite often have things like I have sh things that like look like a shark sitting in the area I have like pea pods I have like literally everything you can imagine on earrings um so when I saw these I was like I have to get them it's a little orange earring set um and so obviously I know I won't be able to change my earrings for a while after I've had them pierced um but I thought when I can I need these in my life so obviously I have the dangly ones in my first hole and then the studs in a second. <laughs> just me. And the funny thing is, I don't even like oranges. I absolutely hate them. But just because it's a novelty earring thing, it's right up my street. And bonus point, if you know me that well, my favourite band, Waterparks, their third album, Fandom, has their the album car work, the album artwork is of an orange. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is all of the jewelry I ordered. So now we'll move on to clothing. Okay, so I don't know how to start. Start from the top of the pile and work our way through. Okay, these are another one of the things that I saw on a Facebook ad and I instantly knew they were instantly my cup of tea. And then when I was showing my friends what stuff I'd ordered, everyone went, oh my God, that is a woody bound. They're like, Tori, if you don't use that as a woody bound, something's wrong with you. So it is a pair of shorts. <laughs> Can you see now why everyone was telling me I need to use them as a woody bound? I didn't buy them for that. I brought them because this is me. That just shouts Tory. And then the back is just the same. Yeah, I brought them because that's just me. Um, but then I was like, after everyone was pointing out I can do a woody bound, I was like, oh my god, yes. This lamp Paris, here I come. Yeah, I will now go try them on. Okay, so I've just put the shorts on and yeah, they don't do up. I can't remember what size I got these in, but I, they're gonna have to be returned either way. Hopefully there's a size up option. I can't remember if there was. Um, I'll check the app later. Okay, and next up is so I'm one of those people that when I buy something like like those shorts, you know, pattern shorts or pattern trousers or something like that, 
if I don't already know I've got something in my wardrobe that will definitely go with it, I have to get something to go with it. Because otherwise, what's the point in having those shorts if I've got nothing to go with it? Do you know what I mean? So I had a little browse through the tops and to see something that would match with it. I found this cute little, this looks absolutely, kind of scared if this is actually going to cover them. <laughs> this cute little crop top with this little rainbow embroidered flower design and it's ribbed material as well. I love ribbing. I mean, it'll stretch. Let's try it on. Okay, so I am very pleasantly surprised. Let me just not have the camera on such a wonk. It fits perfectly. I think with if it was on someone who doesn't have as large uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be as small, but I think it works like, it's all right. It's cute. Perfect for this heat wave we're currently having. So yeah, this one is a keeper. Okay, next up is a, another crop top and another ribbed style crop top. And it is one of those one shoulder crop tops. And it is in this pink and purple tie dye. And if you know me, I absolutely love tie dye. So, and it's pastel pink and purple. So you really know it's up my street. I've never really had anything of the one shoulder style but it looked absolutely cute and yeah we'll see what it looks like i think this is definitely gonna have to be something i think about I'm gonna give myself a couple of days to think about this one because it's cute but i don't think it's me like the colors are me obviously tie-dye pastel me but like the actual style i don't think it suits me very well and literally if i was to keep it i think i'd have to size up on it because it is very tight also probably doesn't help that i've got a very patchy tan line up here but yeah it's nice but probably not on someone of my body type so i don't know i'll think about it so this one came in a package by itself don't know why um it still got delivered at all the other ones it was only the swimsuit got delivered by itself this came with everything else but just by itself if that makes sense maybe they just couldn't fit it all in one package i don't know but this was something else I struggled to get the right sizing for. Didn't get it in the plus size section. I did just get it in the normal in the normal shop. But the sizing was like very like my bust measurement and my waist measurements were like two different sizes different. So I was like it was like if I get something to fit my bust, it will then be way too big down on my waist. If I get something to fit my waist, it will not fit on my bust. So I just met in the middle. And we're going to hope for the best. And it is this cute dress and it's got this little belt to cinch it in at the middle and it's just got these short like cuffed puffy sleeves with the same like neck this is either gonna look really cute or really grannyish let's find out <laughs> okay so i was scared about this being it looking either grannyish or cute and i am very pleased to say it is cute i was I was really scared I was gonna look like really old granny-ish style because of like the frilly top it and the neck but it I like it and this skirt let me just if I back up it's like really swizzable and this bit obviously is like you can tie it up to how tight you want so it can cinch the waist in and all of that so when I was worried about it being Obviously, because I was having a problem with the sizing, getting it to fit my waist and bust, um, and I went in the middle, it, that worked perfectly because obviously I could have the little ribbon bit to sort out my waist, and as for up the top in my bust area, it fits perfectly, and I've got wiggle room as well, so this is another keeper. Okay, and this next item, I have been looking at for so long, like a while. This is the item that made everyone tell me, Tori, you need to shop on this website, you need to come over here and join us. Everyone told me I needed it. So I got it. Denim jacket. I've never been a denim jacket kind of person, but it was too cute and too me not to get it. So it's a rainbow pastel denim jacket. Does it get more me in a sentence? And then the back is just the same. I'm, I've no idea how I'm gonna suit denim jackets. I've never been a big denim fan. So I definitely will not be wearing these with the shorts, with the cowboy shorts because double denim is a, is a, a no-no from me. This isn't the 2000s. We're not doing double denim. No, 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 no. I like it, obviously, it's very me, 
but will I suit it is the question. Okay, and who would have thought it? I love this. I never thought I would hear the day when I say I love a denim jacket, but here I am. I love this, I love this. And it goes so well with this little crop top. They go so well together. I'm like, oh my God, I just, I love it. I love it. But like kind of like the summertime now, like when it's hot during the day, but then it cools down in the, in the evenings. Perfect little throw on. And for like, you know, spring autumn days, I'm that girl that I don't have a seasonal color palette. Like I don't go darks and neutrals during the autumn. I have my one color palette all year round. I'm pastels all year round. It does everyone's head in because everyone's like, no Tori, you can't. But I'm like, yes I can. So autumn outfit sorted. Okay, and the final item is another denim item. I know I did just say I don't, wasn't a big, not a big fan of denim, but jeans are the exception. I don't own many jeans, but I needed a new pair. And with jeans, I'm a very simple person. I just want them high-waisted jeans. But the problem with buying jeans nowadays, if you want them like high-waisted, or if you just want jeans in general, they come with rips and everything. I don't want any of that. I just want a pair of jeans. Usually then when you find a pair of jeans, it's just like, you know, the standard like straight like jeans. I want skinny jeans, but high-waisted with no rips. I know, I'm just being too picky now. I'm sorry, universe. But I found these and Looking on the model, they are like extreme high waist. So perfect for me. Gonna hide everything I don't like. They're skinny as well. So, and the back has this little, I don't even know how to describe it. That cute little thing in the back. All right. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna fit in them, but let's find out. <laughs> yeah, these, these don't fit at all. I can't get them up past my knees. Yeah, these are gonna be a return. And the fact that I couldn't even get them up past my knees is probably a signal that I'm not gonna need to size up. I'm gonna need to like size up by a few. So then I don't know if it's gonna, if it's then just gonna ruin the look of them. So I don't know, I, I don't know. Since I'm pretty sure I'm, I get free returns, I'll return it, see if there is a size up, a few sizes up. Um, but if not, it might just be something I have to return and miss out on. But yeah, there was no chance in absolute heck these were going to try on so hence why you did not see them because no one needs to see that literally couldn't not pass my knees like I'm not even joking <laughs> so anyway that was my first ever Shein Shein just something haul overall pretty happy with it all the jewelry pieces absolutely loving them they are absolutely amazing quality can't wait to wear the orange sets once I get my other ears first very disappointed about the cowboy shorts. I those were what I, as I said, what I like went on Shein Shein or something for in the first place. Um, so hopefully they have them in a size up. It might be worth me just looking in the plus size section since that's where I got my swimsuit from, and that is what fitted the best. I will have a look to see if plus size have that. If they don't, I'm very upset because I absolutely loved them. <laughs> as for the one shoulder crop top tie dye thingy, my bulb, um, I said I was going to give myself a few days to think about it, but I have given myself a few minutes. And I just think that is, it's just a type of top that doesn't work for my body type. Even if I did have a nice clean tan line, I don't think it would work for me. Um, just because of how things are and the fact that I have to have a bra on at all times. I need that support constantly. And with a top like that, obviously it's best if you don't. Um, strapless ones, that, no, no, no way in, in heck those work for me. Um, so when I had that tried on then, I had one half obviously the side that's showing I had that strap tucked in and um, obviously that the support I, I felt like I couldn't go a whole day in it and they did just it felt so tight on them I it just wasn't comfortable at all and yes I know I could size up but I just don't, don't think that was my kind of style and as for the jeans I think I did say those were something I did really really love on the website they were like extreme high waist so I absolutely loved them but I think it is the fact that they were also skinny jeans um, I'm, I haven't worn skinny jeans in a long time. I might try and see if a size up works, but the thing is, you know, when you size up, yes, it will help me fit the bottom of my legs in, but then obviously, like when it gets to my waist, that might be a bit baggier, so it's just awkward. Jeans are always a hard thing to buy. It always takes me a few attempts to get the right size jeans. I think that's the same with like every girl. You can't get jeans, jeans right on the first attempt. That is just, 
No one in history has ever done that. So, no too hard feelings on the jeans. Anyway, that was my first ever Xi'an Xi'an something haul. I will learn how to pronounce it eventually. Until now, we're just gonna do that. <coughs> so yeah, sorry it wasn't our usual Disney kind of video or theme park kind of video or our usual nerdy kind of style, but when I put on Instagram that I was doing this haul, everyone said they wanted to to see a YouTube video on it. So here it is, here's the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, very different for me, I've done loads of hauls on my channel. Most of my videos are hauls, but I've never done a try on haul before. So let me know what you guys thought of it. Um, if you enjoyed it, please pop that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more from Mark, don't forget to subscribe down below, or while you're down there, don't forget to ding that notification bell. I mean, you might as well, you're already down there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!